Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and in today's tutorial, I will be sharing with you guys how to add a ghost effect to your videos, which is super simple to do. I also wanted to thank you guys for 200 subscribers on YouTube. Like, I honestly did not think I would go this far. So yeah, I appreciate it a lot. Thank you so much. And I'm so glad that these tutorials have helped you guys with your editing because a lot of you guys commented that they were helpful. So with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna do after you've pre-composed your clip is click on the motion blur and then click on your clip, then press Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate your clip. After that, click on this little arrow right here from your second clip and then click on transform. Now you're going to keyframe the scale to 100 at the beginning of your clip. So make sure that your timeline is well at the beginning. Then do the same thing with the opacity. Then take your timeline. And for this part, you could go all the way until the end of your clip, or you can do like I do and maybe go not necessarily in the middle of your clip, but maybe a little less. So for me, I'm gonna put it around here. Now go to scale and add another keyframe to around 250 or maybe 240, really depends. Uh, I think I'm gonna do 237. Uh, really adjust as you're liking for this part. Then go back to your timeline and from here, you could add another opacity keyframe to zero right underneath the scale keyframe, or you can do like I do, take your timeline, put it a little bit further. I think I'm gonna go right here. And like I said, put the opacity keyframe to zero. There you go. Highlight all of your keyframes and press FN9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Now highlight your scale graphs and go to the graph editor. From here, I'm gonna show you both of my main scale graph settings. So for the first one, I take the first yellow line and I put it right up here. There you go. And for the second yellow line, I put it around this corner. Yeah. For my second graph, it's not that big of a change. It's just that sometimes I add a shake and I want my ghost effect to last a little bit longer. So what I do is I take the first yellow line and I put it a little bit more on, on a diagonal kind of. So basically all it does is that my ghost effect will start a little bit after my video starts. Now it's time to edit the opacity graph. So highlight your graphs and then go to the graph editor. From here, there's really just one way that I do it. So I kind of just put the first yellow line right down here. And for the second one, I kind of just put it a little bit above like this. There you go. Perfect. And now you're done. Thanks for watching. 